Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Did you make your own Kochic Acid solution to remove pigmentation at home? I have been using this now for about last four months and actually it has improved my uh, pigmentation. The thing is, pig, 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 uh, the thing with pigmentation is that it actually never disappears fully. The only thing to prevent is prevent it is to lighten it and to um, Pre uh, prevent it from darkening it. That means, like, you know, you should be using um, sunscreen SPF 50 every single day. This is the only thing that helps because I have spent like literally hundreds of euros, if not thousands, to actually reduce or to uh, get rid of it. It never happened. So I had a pigmentation pretty much like since um, I got my damaged skin, like in my early teens. And uh, and I tried to, to fight it like since my uh, late 20s I would say. Kochic acid is like one of these things that do lighten the skin and in this video I will show you how to prepare the Kochic acid yourself. I'm actually using rose water and the rolly for it but you can also just use plain um, plain mineral water from the bottle. Don't use tap water. I bought this on Amazon. It was around, I think it was like uh, how much grams? 25 grams and it was around 12 pounds 12 pounds and it's actually very easy to dissolve so all you bring the water to boil and then just add one spoon of this you should not um, use a concentration more of 1% because otherwise it will just irritate your skin so basically with kochic acid it's not more is more no, this is definitely not the case. So it's probably less is more because you don't want to irritate your skin. So with kochic acid, um, you only need like a one spoon of this. So I basically, in, and I, I dissolved it like in about 100 millimeter um, liquid. So I use uh, neroli or I use um, rose water or sometimes I mix just these two together and um, I also sometimes I always add like a couple of essential oils such as um, helichrysum, frankincense and um, carrot seed oil as well. So these are all powerful uh, natural skin lightener as well. This is not to lighten my skin, it's just plain to get rid of the pigmentation and to get to lighten the pigmentation. So I don't recommend this to like you know to lighten your skin so you should definitely embrace your skin tone whatever it is I just it, it irritates me that I need to use way more of foundation that I usually have to just because I have these um, dark spots in my face but this definitely has worked like a charm and I definitely can recommend it to uh, everyone if you have like a dark spots so I'll show you now how to prepare the Kochic acid powder Kochic acid. I'll show you what Kochic acid looks like it's basically just like really grainy. I just put it here and I hope you can see this. Um, yeah, it's like really grainy. So you need to dissolve, you need to dissolve this. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. Um, so it's basically very grainy. Um, so you won't be able to apply this your face just like that so you need to dissolve it in um, either in water or I actually use rose water and um, orange blossom water this, these waters are basically um, very beneficial for your skin because they're very hydrating both of them and also have uh, anti-aging properties they're basically just a byproduct of um, making essential oils which are very very beneficial to your skin and I'm a lot of, of um, essential oils as you know I'm always making just a small batch to fit the bottle like this because um, kochic acid is not very stable so um, you will be just really wasting the product uh, and your energy because uh, it won't be efficient because it evaporates very quickly so what I usually do I take about 50 um, I take 50, um, 50 milliliters of rose water and 50 and about 50 millimeters of orange blossom water. So, so that makes about 100 millimeter, and this batch would last you for about a month. 
So I do not recommend to make more than this because it will just evaporate and won't be efficient. So basically I will put this water. So I will just pour the water basically into um, into uh, into the pan and I will just boil it, bring it to boil and once the water has boiled I will just take about a um, spoon, like a kind of a flat spoon of kochic acid. See it boils very quickly so I will just kind of put this in into and uh, 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 put the kochic acid into the water and just like stir it basically in and it dissolves very very quickly so there's no need to boil it any further because I just really wanted to dissolve it and as you can see it's very clear so what I usually do now is I'm just gonna um, let it cool and I will transfer it then basically into one of these bottles so basically that's how you dissolve kochic acid and here it is. This is basically what it what it looks like. It's kind of um, it's kind of a yellow, light yellow juice. Then I just uh, take like a dry cotton pad, pad, cotton pad, and I just would apply a couple of drops over it, and then I would just wipe basically my face over over with the pad and I do this in the morning and in the evening every day and then you can follow up with your normal day routine I apply I always make sure to make a, use like a very strong SPF as well because otherwise the dark spots will come back again the thing to speak with pigmentation is that it never really disappears or very hard it's very difficult to get rid of it so basically there's no need to invest in all these expensive creams because they don't really really work so um, the best thing is like to use like a SPF single every single day and this will gradually lighten your skin so do not expect this to be your skin to be like light in the next two or three days it will probably take um, months so I've been doing using this like for three months now and it's working very well for me and it's very economical because that little bottle would last you like literally over a year and it's only 10 pounds you know your this kochic acid creams are very expensive like they would be like sometimes up to 50 euro or something like that so but it's very easy to make them so as, as I said it's very important to make smaller batches because it evaporates very quickly and it's not stable so you want to have make like a one fresh batch every month so that's it so I hope this video was helpful to you um, if you have any tips and tricks how you are reducing your pigmentation then please leave them in the comments below so this because this might help other people as well so um, if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video again Bye bye.